greater than, less than, and equal to. When you compare numbers, you're going to use one of three symbols. You're going to use the greater than symbol. The arrow that points to the right means greater than. So this reads 5 is greater than 3. Perhaps you would use the is less than symbol. An arrow that points to the left is read is less than. And this says 3 is less than 6. And of course the symbol you're probably most familiar with is equal to. This symbol means is equal to and we read it 8 is equal to 8. Whenever you're comparing two numbers, what you want to be able to do is decide which of these signs is the most appropriate one to use. For example, if I was comparing the numbers 14 and 6, I know that 14 is bigger than 6, so I would want to use the is greater than symbol. And I would write 14 is greater than 6. We're going to work with comparing some signed numbers. Perhaps you'd want to compare some other numbers, maybe 4 and 11. You know that 4 is smaller than 11 or less than 11, so we'll use the less than symbol and we'll say 4 is less than 11. An important thing to remember is the open end of the arrow always points toward the larger number. We're going to compare some sign numbers using a number line to assist us. We'll compare the numbers 2 and negative 4 to start with. We look on the number line trying to locate these numbers and we see negative 4 and 2. Since 2 lies to the right of negative 4, we know it's the larger number. And we know 2 is greater than negative 4. So we'll use our greater than sign. 2 is greater than negative 4 because it's to the right of negative 4 on the number line. As another example, we'll compare negative 4 and 2. If we look at negative 4, we find it on the number line to the left of 0. And we find 2 to the right. Since 2 lies to the right of negative 4, we know it's the larger number. And negative 4 must be less than 2. So we'll write negative 4 is less than 2. As another comparison, we'll look at negative 4 and negative 2 plus negative 2. When we're adding sign numbers, we can start at 0. Negative 2 moves 2 to the left. And adding negative 2 moves 2 to the left again. And it puts us on negative 4. We know that negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4. So these have exactly the same value. And we'll say negative 4 is equal to negative 2 plus negative 2. Finally, when we're comparing two negative numbers, like negative 6 and negative 4, we have only to find them on the number line. We'll look for negative 6 and negative 4. We see that negative 4 is to the right of negative 6, so it is the larger number. We know that negative 6 is less than negative 4. Put negative 6 is less than negative 4. To help you remember this, you might consider thinking about money that you owe. Owing negative four dollars is not as big a debt as owing negative six. You're further in the hole with negative six, so it is a smaller number. It is to the left of negative four on the number line. Using the number line can be very helpful when you're comparing sign numbers. Let's look at some of the military amphibious armored personnel carriers and tanks, and also the ships bringing them into battle. As you watch the various scenes, think of all the math used to construct and design this equipment. Also think of designing, making prints, and reading manuals to construct this equipment. These people that did this were once just like you learning algebra.
please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.